So now we have this equation and we can uh, try to write it in a slightly better way. Just give it a nice interpretation. Uh, so this equation actually it can be interpreted in the following way. If, if we define a new function P3, So just by definition, let me reduce the ball in P3, define P1 tilde and some new quantities P1. choice of this mu14 which uh, we'll see uh, what that should be for a particular choice of this periodic coefficients we can interpret this equation as a statement Second term minus 
P1 to N. And then simply this, this continuity of this periodic function. And similar form is P2. This should be it. So now if we look on this equation that's, that looks precisely like this one, Especially if I multiply by mu1 to tilde, then this I reproduce immediately this term, and then I also have terms similar to those, provided I choose uh, this mu1 force of R as an arbitrary function. It's just the only requirement that's periodic. So if I choose this to be such that its discontinuity is equal to this, everything will be perfect. So this defines me some mu one four and mu one three. So we choose them. equations again, let me stress, are equivalent to the statement that they exist P3 and P4, again with just one single cut, exactly the same way as we introduced P1 and P2, such that it's given by a, a linear combination of P1 tilde, P1 and P2, with some periodic coefficient. And now we can uh, revert actually this definition, and we can say that actually what the TB equation tells us is that P1 and P2 are linear combinations of P1, P2, P3, and P4 with periodic coefficients. And furthermore, we know uh, a lot about those coefficients because this is uh, this mu introduced here, and we know the discontinuities in terms of this again. And after introducing this notation, actually what you find, if you want to explicitly write this relation, is the following, the PA tilde is mu AB kappa DC PC, where the sky is a constant matrix this form. And this mu AB is a collection of all these mu which we introduced in a rather ugly way. But now we introduce them in we introduce them in such way that actually their discontinuities are nice. They are given by P okay. And actually another Constraint which we will find is that we kind of 
is equal to one. Somehow that's natural. It just tells us that if we take two the twice, we should get p back. Uh, and that, that's all we need to know. That's actually on this way there are many miracles happen. And it's quite, uh, quite non trivial that uh, so it's rather complicated equation can be reduced by introducing an auxiliary between P4 to this universal form. So now that's everything we need to know. That there is there are four function P's with one count. There are these monodromous mu's, which are periodic in I, and the discontinuity relations are given by this. So now we can walk uh, to, to any shape of the remote surface just using this discontinuity relations, and by that, it completely defines us all those functions, P's and mu's. So we will consider some simple example, but before that, Let me change the topic uh, completely. So it was very tough to uh, understand derivation. Huge suppression rate. Number. So now we do something nice. Harmonic. Okay, now it's time to relax. So let's do the harmonic oscillation. And then we find that P had nothing to do with 
this function, but rather is equal to m e minus v, where v is quadratic polynomial. So it's one over two, or maybe square. square. So instead, we'll find every one surface. So now we, will, we are back to our uh, system of equations and we want to solve it in some particular uh, simple settings and this is the near BPS limit. One thing and then we, we should also pick an observable and so far we were completely general, we didn't specify any uh, in the quantum numbers of the state, so uh, the hope is that this equation is 
actually should describe an arbitrary local operator uh, in the theory. And even a bit more, because recently a very similar set of TBA equations were derived uh, for a different type of absorbable by Nadav and uh, some group from Princeton. derived uh, the TB equations which are very simple in structure to what we just discussed uh, for another absorbable which is kind of generalization of a uh, super uh, Wilson loop for, for the circular case so it's a super um, Wilson line stretched between two points and with some cusp point actually cusp And then actually all, all we've done uh, so far, it uh, most likely can be repeated for this case. And let me do some declaimers that actually we are still working on the detail, details of the construction. many functions which are analytic and periodic and if we first assume that mu should go to a constant at infinity then the only possibility would be that mu is just constant the only function which is periodic and uh, which is not growing at infinity. Uh, however, I think mu 1, 2 is something we can identify directly from TB. It's easy to see that actually it's, uh, it gives rise to this boundary mm -hmm. scattering matrix and it should be non-trivial function, it should be proportional to C 
чтобы понять. So of course that uh, it's, it's still should be periodic function and the simplest non-trivial periodic function is like if you take into account um, uh, the parity, it will be the cinch to buy you. <coughs> so that's first observation which is uh, which will produce us a, a huge simplification. And Second observation is that actually we can do some redefinition. So P3, we can shift it by some constant um, by P1 with some constant C. And also we define P4 in this way. So there is like a, a one parametric. Um, symmetry of the system and also we can actually rescale all of them and so there are a few constants which we uh, can choose and this allows to actually bring this uh, otherwise constant matrix mu a b to the following form was one of those details which is still be worked out So that's uh, uh, what's left from the PMU system in this case. And in addition, I have to actually specify asymptotics when you go to infinity. PA should be kept as A1 U minus L, A2 U minus L minus 1, L plus 1. of this object um, which still preserves most of its properties I can insert here some scalar of n equal 4 at which of this cast then it will correspond to the lens L so now we have to solve this uh, set of equations uh, with this asymptotics and as we, uh, as we see for example, P4 from 
that equation equals to P, uh, P4 tilde equals to P4, which means that P, P4 tilde, of course, also has only one single cut. So P4 has a similar picture with this harmonic oscillator. It's only one cut. Different equation which tells us P3 of 
1 over x equals to p3 minus p3 of x. And again, the only possibility is that p3 equals to x minus 1 over x times a3. So by that, we, we fix completely both a4 and a3. And now we can, for example, pick the first equation. P1 tilde, which we also write in terms of x minus P1 of x equals to minus C sinh of 2 pi g x plus 1 over x times is similar again for example p1 uh, for equal 0 p1 goes to a constant P2 of 1 over x, of course, it will contain only both. We see that uh, we found a unique uh, solution after this coefficient, C1 and C3, which actually can be set uh, to 1 using this rescaling. 
uh, and we managed to solve the system of equations for an arbitrary lambda. And now, if we try to convert this to the energy, and the energy is given by some combination of A's, this 
smallest uh, power of x it will contain will be x plus L plus 2. So in other words, this left hand side it contains all negative powers until x to the power L plus 1 then nothing and then uh, again some powers of x starting from x to the power L plus 1. So there is a gap in the power. So let's try right here. <coughs> Where n is x to them. And there will be something until minus L minus 1. And something starting from L plus 1, but everybody is a gap. Right, whereas on the right hand side, in principle, we have the series coming from Sinch, which has all possible powers of x. And P4, which is still uh, contains some unfixed coefficients inside. So what we have to do, we have to actually tune these coefficients in such a way that uh, this gap actually is formed. Right? And by that we will fix P4 completely. So, for example, if we want to kill, say, power x uh, to 0, what kind of equation we'll get? So, we'll get some equation like, and so let's see here the power uh, minus L, so minus L to the x to the L times x to the minus L. I'm collecting now all coefficients on the right hand side with the zero powers, for example. Plus, um,
get some intuition about uh, what that would be. We can think about uh, this from the ideas CFT perspective where the strings stretch between these two boundaries. So some open string and L is amount of angular momentum uh, in this string. So in the classical limit, we should scale it as a square root of lambda and send them and both of them to infinity. Because in string theory, one over square root of lambda plays the role of uh, the constant Planck constant. So how do we send L to infinity? How can we um, so if we increase L, obviously the size of this matrix will go to infinity. And somehow we want to get some limit. So, so the way it is done is the following. So let me, instead of this uh, P or introduce um, ML, just a normalization coefficient, which is just this uh, minus one minus L. So I replace these powers here by again the better, so it looks more homogeneous. So it is a uh, uh, Instead of basis and the determinant, I replace the basis by x. So this uh, integral representation allows uh, replacing the basis by just powers of x.
So now, now you see, so the, the last step is um, to note that this part is symmetric in the, in, when I interchange axis, and when the remote is, of course, anti-symmetric. But also I have this power here in the denominator of the measure. So measure is neither symmetric or anti-symmetric, so I can anti-symmetrize this measure, and like in the matrix model I know get two So settle point equation, then easy to work out. That's the term coming from the sum. Right, this is just derivative of this main part of the equation. And then uh, the Wandermond is 1 minus x minus x k. I just want to demonstrate that uh, the EMU system uh, it interpolates nicely between uh, weak coupling to strong coupling and uh, reproduces uh, results of some uh, classical uh, spectral curve method. 